everybody. So we packed up. We're in a different spot. We were camping on the Clark Fork. And it was hot. It was crowded there. We spent the day there. And then we're on this uh, nice campsite here on uh, the Thompson River. We were here in September last year. So we wanted to come back here because the river is beautiful. I really want to fish it. Oops. So that's where we're at. Let me show you the river real quick. So we're at this spot. We're only going to spend a day here. The fishing is not too good right here. It's very fast moving water, no pockets. Not a great place to fish, but I know down this road, there's a lot of awesome places and a lot of other places to uh, camp. So we're going to be exploring that. But right now, we're going to cook dinner and we're going to have some fish. Oh man, we got some good fish to cook up today. We got wild cord snapper. Oh yeah. Oh baby, that looks good. A good, good dinner deserves a good beer. Dump truck, extra pale summer buck. Pretty cool? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so good today. Even here in Montana, it is so hot today. It's probably up in the 90s. It is scoldering hot, sweating like crazy today. Now let's do dinner. There we go. Oh man, I'm a pretty good cook. Time to pack up, move on, head down the river. over in this one section here it's beautiful and a nice pool yeah pool down there pretty cool man so i was using a small dry fly size 12. got two rises though they didn't get any but it's at least i'm getting fish coming up so so i was down there for i gotta say less than 15 minutes and my gopro here had my battery fully charged it's like down to 30%. GoPro, you really suck. Yep, we're in grizzly territory. Oh man, I found my spot. This place is so cool. It was a little bit of a rough row going in there, but not that bad. There's a lot of big ups and downs, but check this area out. God, this place is beautiful here. What a find this one is. 
This is awesome. We'll see if we can catch some fish here too. We got some nice deep water here for fishing. Now we just got to find out if there's fish in this water. I need this beer today. Oh yeah. Oh, it is a hot day. Traveling a lot, I'm full of dirt. And it's packed. But I'm lucky I found this spot, but it's a, it's a little dicey road coming in here. It's really bumpy. There's probably nobody's back here. But man, everywhere in Montana is just overflowing with people. Talking to some of the local fly shops, I think I was saying it before. They're just overrun by just tourists and people camping and RVing and stuff. Meth fishing, just out here. Most everybody from Washington State and stuff. It's the most uh, amount of people that you ever had camping in around the whole area. So I don't know if it's people just uh, getting away from the COVID virus and just want to get out or who knows. So they can't travel. I don't know. But I found this spot and this is one of the nicest spots I've ever had. It's remote. We're in grizzly territory. And we'll see what happens. And it's so far in my GoPro. I can't tell you how frustrated I am on this piece of junk. The GoPro 8, the top of the line, everything improved. Well, everything about it and all the problems GoPro has from the early days from the GoPro 5 that I had, they didn't resolve any of the problems. And most of the problems are even worse. It's just, what the hell does a company do? The, the picture is a little bit better. The sounds a little bit better. Got it granted that, but... Everything about it is so badly designed and it's just so frustrating. I'm going to do a whole video on this GoPro and just ream them one and send it to them. It's just absolutely ridiculous. But I'm going to relax now. Charge this battery up because the battery life is like cut in half almost now. Even though I'm using it's the same size sensor on the GoPro. I'm using the same settings I did on my GoPro 5, but this thing uses twice as much memory up and the battery goes twice as fast for some reason. So it's a more of a pain in the ass because the battery goes quick. And change batteries with this door is, is just ridiculous. But anyway, that's my rant. We're gonna snack a little bit and then we'll probably do a little fishing. Let's try a little bit of fishing. It's time to get a complex. I don't know. Or somebody's telling the fish that I'm coming this way. I, I don't know. But I, all I got was two rises. Didn't get a fish though. But what a beautiful hole. And what a beautiful place to fish. Good morning, everybody. Sun is coming up. I got water brewing for my coffee. There's the sun coming up over there. I'm on this beautiful river. Oh man, freedom up in Montana. Whew. Sun is bright, coming over that mountain. Uh, we're gonna have our coffee and relax this morning. Oh, oh yeah, first thing in the morning. Up in Montana, sun coming over the mountain. It's about 50 degrees out, a little chilly, not too bad. Oh man, it doesn't get any better than this.
just nothing but beauty around. It's just awesome. But now it's time to do a little fishing. Let's hope we get a little bit of luck today. Man, this water here in this street is the river. It's beautiful. Check these out. And this water is is so crystal clear. Hey everybody, it's early in the morning. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. Sun's coming up, maybe nine o'clock. We're gonna try one more time in this stream, in this river here, Thompson River, see if we can get anything. But it seems to be a lot of small stuff coming off, size 20 little flies. So we're gonna go real small and see what happens. I gave it a shot here. I did get one fish on, but I lost them. It looked like a rainbow. But uh, there's a lot of insects, tiny little stuff all over the place, but nothing's feeding off the surface. I don't know, maybe nymphs. But we're gonna go down the road and uh, explore a little bit more. There's a lot more of this river, about 20 more miles of it that I gotta explore. But look at this landscape I'm fishing in. Let's hit the road and find another spot, hopefully with better fishing. Got a hundred miles to go before the next big show. When they say cowboy up, I'll be waiting for the thing to go. I gotta bust that. Found, found another spot a little crampy in here but got a little fire pit I'm on the water we're about 20 miles down rivers a lot smaller it's got a nice pocket here so we're gonna give this a try and then I got some more issues with my Jeep so oh, get the Sun here the hatch decided they didn't want to open up it usually happens when it gets hot so I got something there maybe to keep it cool I thought I had it fixed, so I can't open my hatch up now. I hope something else didn't break, but let me show you the river right here. It is really hot out, man. The sun is just beaming down on me. It's roasting hot. It's nasty, but we're gonna try to do a little fishing. All right, I fished it a little bit, nothing. Nice pool there. 
That is just so hot out, man. The sun, I'm starting to get grouchy. <laughs> My hatch is not working. I'm in the sun here. This, this area right here, I got no shade really. So I think I'm gonna, I was gonna stay here for the night, but I'm gonna go backwards. And there's another uh, road that goes up along, what's it called? It's called um, Fish Trap Creek. It's a small little mountain stream. It's got fish in it. We'll see that, so that takes a long ride up and they're supposed to be camping up there too. So we're gonna try that out. Let's check it out. Followed saw this road. I think I'm gonna try it before I get to the other spot, but it's a long a little crazy road, but uh it's just a dead end, stops at the river here, but it's all just flat, shallow water, not good for fishing. So I gotta figure a way to make a U-turn now. says there's construction up ahead delays all kinds of stuff and there's a road here it says to reroute I looked on the map and it's way off <laughs> the trail and I think I'm gonna u-turn because I'm a little disappointed here it's a beautiful ride though which is nice but I followed this up I thought it was a uh, follows the creek a long way but there's no access to the stream whatsoever a lot of it's on private property so this is one wasn't what i expected so we're going to backtrack and head back this is an awesome fishing spot i just found it's not a camping spot it's just a pull off but it's beautiful i'm watching fish rise over here check this out So, the sun. my memory card's almost filled up, my battery's almost dead, so I don't know how much filming I can do. So I just pulled off going down this road here. I just wanted to go down it, and it's pretty cool. So I've been driving around, I've been exploring, going down different roads which is pretty cool nice scenic stuff a lot of it I didn't photograph but uh I'm tired did a lot of fishing got no fish not even a hit not even a rise I don't know but I need some Irish death I am beat I am tired ah oh, yeah love that sound Oh man, I can't tell you how good that tastes. So, my hatch is not working in the back of the truck. I can't open my hatch up to set everything up. I may have to wait just till it cools down or I'm going to have to empty everything out and get take apart the hatch from inside, which is a pain in the ass. I'm hoping I don't have to do that. But, we'll see what happens right now. Just going to relax with my beer. And I got the stream right here. Oh, let me show you this camp campsite I'm at. So here's our campsite. Pretty cool. Got a fire ring. 
I got the river right there. Let's check it out. So that's it. I'm seeing a couple little fall, small fish in there. But it's kind of a little bit of a beaver dam right above here. Some beavers kind of put a dam up a little bit. So I made this nice and open and kind of like a lake. But it's not bad. It's beautiful. I think right now I just want to relax. Son of a bitch. Trying everything to get to it. I can't get to it. Had to empty everything out from the side doors. Now, I'm gonna try to see if I can do a hole. Maybe I can get access. Managed to reach in there and open a hatch. Can't tell you what a pain in the ass that was. I fixed it. Bit of adjustment. Gotta get your hand way up in there. Big pain in the ass, but I got it done. Now I got a mess of everything I just tore out of this Jeep and threw it on the ground because I was pissed off. Now I gotta straighten everything up. Good morning, everybody. It's an awesome morning here. Sun is coming up, did breakfast. I got my hatch fixed, got all that working, and we're ready to move on. I can't wait to get out of this spot though, because I have this kind of uh, still water. It's moving though, but it's kind of not rapid or anything. But it, what it does, it reduces a lot of mosquitoes. This place is full of mosquitoes. So I'm gonna hurry up and pack up and get out of here. We'll catch you on the road. Yep, this here is mosquito heaven, but uh, it's full of trout. It's full of little, tiny, little, little trout, brown trout. Caught a bunch of them. Didn't get them on film. It's a little embarrassing, but at least I caught some fish. But they're all just all in here, all about the same size. There's nothing big. I don't see anything big. So, but it's beautiful here. Let me get a couple of shots of some of the stuff around the area. up ready to hit the road and get get away from these mosquitoes here so we're ready
the journey. We made it here to Route 2. Went from uh, Route 200 to Route 2. It's quite a distance. Well, on my map here, well, we detoured a little bit. I went 63 miles or 64 miles. But we're right back on the highway. Now we're going to head into a town. All right, everybody. It's been a long day. We finished uh, finished uh, Thompson uh, River there. Drove all the way. So we got into a big town. We did our gro uh, grocery stop shopping. We did our uh, laundry. Got an oil change. We had to do our critical uh, 50, well, 500 mile oil change for this new motor. So we got that done. So we are heading now to the Bob Marshall Wilderness area to fish the Spotted Bear in the Bunker Creek. So that's going to be an awesome time. You got to stay tuned for that. So we're going to end the vlog here. It's been cool. Even though we didn't catch any fish there, our luck is going to change. I know it. So I'm John. I'm 65. I'm over the hill. We went over a bunch of mountains today. And we're going to go over a bunch more. So don't forget, if you're new to the channel, I live out of my Jeep full time. Fly, fish, and explore. So if you enjoyed it, smash that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And everybody else that followed along, thanks for following me today. And stay tuned for our next adventure. So don't forget, never stop walking, never stop listening to rock and roll. And we'll catch you guys up in the mountains. Bye-bye.